In this video, we are going to walk through the warning signs of autism. Hey, it's Morgan here with Passable Parent, where we help you improve developmental outcomes for your child. I've been a pediatric nurse for the past 10 years, specializing in early childhood development. I'm also a new mom. Before we get started, don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the upcoming videos or content. Joining us today, we have Linda, who's a pediatric nurse for the past 35 plus years. She actually works with early intervention. For those of you who don't know what early intervention is, it's when you work with a child from birth to three to enhance developmental outcomes. Before we dive into the warning signs of autism, first, I just wanna talk about how prevalent autism is. Autism is something that is really scary for parents. Nationally, one in 44 children are diagnosed with autism. These are pretty alarming statistics. This video is not at all diagnostic and it is not medical advice. If you have any concerns about the warning signs we're going to discuss, please consult your pediatrician or trusted medical advisor. Children as early as six months old, we've had parents that they have concerns for their infants. Again, like Nurse Morgan said, if you have any concerns, reach out to your pediatrician. Every state has early intervention. Early intervention, as Morgan had said, is for children birth to three years old. So if you have any of these warning signs, request to have an evaluation completed. You should be able to talk to your pediatrician or your healthcare provider and get the phone number for your local early intervention program to have an evaluation and alleviate any fears that you might have. Don't spend any time worrying and having concerns. Have an evaluation so that you know whether those concerns are true or not, and then that evaluation team can help you with what the next steps would be or to alleviate your fears. It's just important that you know that there are resources available and early intervention is one of them. Individuals with Disabilities Education Act, they require that families receive these services. These evaluations that Linda is talking about through early intervention, they may be free to you, you and your infant or toddler can receive free early intervention services if your child is eligible. Not all services are free. It depends on which state you live in. So let's get started with some of the warning signs of autism. When you're looking at your six month old baby, you should be expecting them to have that social smile. If they don't have the social smile, that is a concern. By 12 months old, your children should be babbling, pointing, using a meaningful gesture to communicate with you. Poor eye contact, again, another warning sign. Looking at your 16 month old, so think of your child at 16 months old, they have no one word to communicate with you. So whether it's using dog, using aug, it can be an approximation, so something that sounds very similar. Again, getting that one word out there to communicate with you, mama, dad and using it meaningfully so to gain your attention so again at 16 months old at 24 months they should be taking the the simple single words that they have and combining them into two words and again having them meaningful looking at you pairing it with eye contact and saying you know mommy go i go mommy up pairing those two words together if they're not doing that then you need to have that conversation with your pediatrician. Another warning sign would be not showing interest or sharing interest in something. An example of this would be, oh, there's an airplane. So it would, it would go airplane and your child would engage with you about the fact that there is an airplane in the sky. And you would point to it or your child could point to the airplane for you to label that airplane. Another example of this would be sharing a book. When you have your 18 or 24 month old child, you should be able to point to a picture in the book and they can either look at you. If it's a picture of a dog, you know, they can either say dog or woof woof. If it's a cat, you can point to the picture of the cat and they can say meow or say cat. They can look at you. They can, as they're saying it, they can 
they can point to the picture in the book for you to name it. So it's turn taking, you pointing to a picture and then labeling it and they will point to a picture and you label it for them. And then another warning sign is having an unusual attachment to one item in particular. I think this one might be a little bit confusing to parents or caregivers because many children do develop preferences for certain things. So can you elaborate a little bit on that? So yeah, you know, lots of children use something special to sleep with, but they don't have to have that item with them whenever they're doing anything. So that you wanna be able to have them, if they have a special item, you want them to be able to put that item down and then engage in play. They may need to have an object in the same room if, it, if they just woke up and it's something they were sleeping with or taking a nap with, but that they can put that object aside and then play with a toy meaningfully and purposefully with you. So those are just a few warning signs of autism. There are many others. We don't want this video to be all doom and gloom. I realize how concerning and scary this topic can be for caregivers. We do want you to know there are resources available. Like we previously discussed, there is something called early intervention that you can look for your local and state laws and see what is covered, what is not, and who to contact for that. We can have people come out like Linda and evaluate your child and give you some information. Also, if you are concerned at all, these are just a few warning signs. There's much more that goes along with autism. So please reach out to your pediatrician or a trusted medical advisor. We can read anything on the internet and become concerned and scared. The best person to talk to is your child's trusted healthcare provider about this issue. The CDC actually has a milestone checklist that parents or caregivers can access to help them see how their child is developing and if they are meeting certain milestones and when to reach out for help and call the pediatrician, call your trusted medical professional. So link down in the description box below, I will attach the CDC milestone checklist information. Also is a website called firstsigns.org. I will have that linked in the description box below as well. Another great website to use is autismspeaks.org. All these websites are great resources that you can use to further educate yourself on the topic of autism and to be on the lookout to know when to contact your trusted medical professional. Again, thank you so much for joining us. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Can't wait to see you next time. Bye everybody.